Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toroscope Base channel in Malaysia. Now today's video, this is something that, you know, I saw pictures of this online and I just told myself, look, I got to get into this thing and talk about it. I do cover a lot of Jurassic Park and Jurassic World content here. It's been a while since I've put out anything though, but this is something I saw a photo of this thing online and I was like, whoa, this just takes me back. And this is like part of the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary celebrations. I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of merchandise coming out in 2023 hopefully from Hasbro as well. But right here, what we got here is from Yada Toys, part of their collection of nano scene play sets that include like very small dioramas with, you know, miniature vehicles and stuff like that. Prior to this, they put out the Fast and the Furious Dominic Toretto home. That thing looked great. It never turned up in Malaysia though. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Yada Toys does have a presence though at retail, but I don't think that particular set made it. I hope that this one does though. I think that uh, they've not actually put out any details on the pre-order or anything like that, not yet. So I don't know how much this thing is supposed to cost. I don't think it's going to cost that much though, right? I think it's going to be pretty affordable. You know, Yada Toys is pretty much in a fixed range, but uh, it just looks amazing. It just takes me back. 1993, I saw Jurassic Park, the first one in cinema when it first came out. And in fact, it was... You know, I talked about this on the channel as well, I think previously. It was legitimately a first date kind of movie for me back then. Uh, yeah, you know, the person that I was seeing at the time, you know, I was seeing her for a great number of years. So it really brings back a lot of memories. And I got to say that, you know, that was at the time that teenagehood for me was basically <laughs> coming to an end. It was one of the best years ever, I think, uh, because after that, everything just got freaking serious, okay? Like uh, college and, you know, reality checks, okay? I mean, getting a job and stuff like that, getting into a career. So I think that was like the turning point, all right? 1993 was just a really great year. And this was one of the best movies that ever came out. This is one of those all-time perfect movies. When I think about it, it's like nothing about this movie needs to be changed. It doesn't need to be remade. I hope it never gets rebooted or anything like that. I mean, if they want to continue the story as a TV series at some point, sure, okay. But I think that this is one of those movies that just deserves its permanent place in history. You know, just like all of the greats out there, The Terminator, the first one, the the first Predator movie, Die Hard, the first one, of course. Uh, you know, everything else. Okay, Back to the Future. None of these movies need to be remade or rebooted. Jurassic Park, the first one, is just definitely one of them. You know, none of the sequels ever really stood up. The only one that I really liked was the first Jurassic World, okay, uh, 2015. And the reason why I like that is because I went into that movie not knowing that it was actually going to be like directly pulling on all the nostalgia factors from the first movie, all right? Literally, we revisit the first park again. And that to me was just mind-blowing, okay? When they pulled that stunt, I was like, okay, you know what? You guys got me, all right? But none of the other movies ever worked. And you know what? This is one of those situations where, you know, when I think of something like Jurassic Park, it's just like this gigantic well that holds so many great memories for me. And this particular playset here, the nano scene playset, it captures one of the best scenes in the movie. The first time they actually enter the park through the giant gates and it's like, whoa, you know, what the hell is this supposed to be? Okay, all right, where are we going? And uh, this particular scene, all right, this particular gate, in fact, I'm just surprised that prior to this, other than Kenner, okay, back in the 90s, okay, nobody else has ever done a playset like this that captures the gate entrance. I don't know, maybe they thought it wasn't necessary. But uh, this is one of those things that's sorely lacking in a modern day update. They've had like, you know, thousands of new dinosaurs being released since then, okay? And Mattel has been doing a great job as well. But Mattel probably, you know, it's not, interested in maybe going down the route of play sets. Kenner did back in the day, definitely. The play set that they put out was this command, uh, sort of like a command center, command compound center, I believe it was called. Uh, you know, it's just huge, just enclosure, right, that had the gate right in the front there. I have a unit right here in my collection for many years now. Uh, it was a nightmare that she pieced to get everything because this thing came with a ton of parts, right? And I had to get it loose and stuff like that. It's got electronics. It's got a lot of stuff to it, okay? And it can actually hold all these really gigantic dinosaurs inside, okay? It's pretty spectacular. Uh, one day, I'm probably going to have to just do a full review of this thing. But uh, this is one of those situations where I felt that, you know, this was a playset that actually needs to be updated. And I think that uh, if they did do it, okay, people would freaking pick it up, okay? Like, collectors would definitely be down for an updated Jurassic Park command you know, compound, okay, in one of those things, okay, the Command Compound Center, is that what it's called? Yeah. Anyway, I just looked it up real quick and the official name is the Command Compound, okay? It seems pretty basic though, you can add a center if you want to, but yeah, that's what it was, okay, and I hope that this thing actually somehow gets a modern day update. And uh, the set, in fact, also includes, uh, since it's a nano Jada Toys kind of thing, and they've been doing all these nano vehicles, I think that these are about the size of 
micro machines. I don't actually own any personally because uh, all the really nice ones never actually made it down here. Okay, the nano stuff, I don't really think I've seen it on shelves. Uh, I think there's some GI Joe stuff as well. I've never seen it at the toy store though. Uh, and I wasn't really sure if I was going to invest in something like this. But, you know, for Jurassic Park, I may just do it. And it's got the two iconic vehicles here, the Jeep Wrangler and the Jungle Explorer. Uh, these were also done by Canon back in the day. And of course, you know, Hot Wheels has also put out various versions of these as well. Uh, wait, was it Hot Wheels or Matchbox? Let me think. No, it's Matchbox. Sorry. Okay, Matchbox has done various versions of these vehicles. I don't think that Hot Wheels have ever actually done a Jurassic Park license, though. Uh, it would be awesome, though, if they did. Wait, did they? I'm trying to think here, man. It's like... Uh, does Mattel Hot Wheels have a Jurassic Park license? Wait, hang on. They do actually uh, have a license for Jurassic World stuff, uh, but just the character cars. You know, the weird stuff that it looks like machines with like animal dinosaur hybrid parts or, you know, stuff like the monster trucks. Yeah, that's right. But when it came to the movie specific vehicles, uh, whether it was from Jurassic Park or all the way through to the Lost World and Jurassic World, uh, I think, no, it was just Matchbox that were doing those, okay? So, yeah, that's the situation right there. And they've put out some great stuff too. I've actually reviewed a lot of those Matchbox stuff as well on the channel previously. Anyway, this is a fantastic looking set. Uh, it also comes with the electrical fencing and uh, also a tiny Velociraptor, all right? Uh, although, I don't think that uh, they were actually raptors roaming around when the vehicles first entered through the gate no not yet i mean you know, the raptors came like much later but uh, it's great that they included that as well uh it's like probably like the first nano sized uh raptor you know dinosaur that yada toys is doing and um yeah you know it's just, just a really fantastic looking set uh that just looks actually really good in box as it is but of course, if you get it, you want to probably open it up and you know find a place to display it and actually just handle the vehicles and stuff like that. Uh, I'm pretty excited for this release. Okay, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section if you guys are down for this Jurassic Park 30th anniversary gate entrance nano scene. Yeah, I want to hear from all you Jurassic Park fans out there. And hit me up in the comments. I'll catch you guys again real soon with more content. Thank you and take care out there.